What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create our own multi-boot uh, USB Linux installer now if you install Linux quite a bit then you're going to obviously need a selection of Linux distros that you like to install now rather than keep creating USB flash drives and then wiping them and recreating them again uh, or having many different flash drives you can have one flash drive with all your favorite distros on one drive where you can just boot to that device and select which distro you want to install very simple and easy to do now we're going to be using yummy for this and uh, there is other ways of doing um, this as well but this is just one way of doing it and this is what yummy looks like when it's all complete you can download it from here for free and uh, once you've got this downloaded you need to put this onto your desktop or wherever you want to store it and run it from there okay I've pinned mine to my taskbar here and I've also downloaded uh, four distros that I'm just going to be using these are the four sort of distros I like to use uh, Peppermint 6, uh, Manjaro XFCE, also Lubuntu and Linux Mint uh, you can put on there whatever you like Arch Linux whatever you like um, depends what distros you like to use but these are the four we're going to be using for this video so let's fire up our yummy and uh, you will get the user account control pop up here and it will say publish unknown and that's fine we're going to say yes here and once you get to this next step you need to agree to their terms and then once you get this step you need to select your first step here which is your USB flash drive now as I said this is really important that you select the right drive okay as you can see mine's on the Y letter here and it's called blank and it's 29 gigabytes now if you have got I've got other USB uh, drives plugged in make sure you select the right one because once you've uh, done this it's going to format that drive and all the data will be lost so we're going to be ticking this we will format FAT32 now we need to select our distribution now if you haven't got your distributions downloaded then that's fine you can always download them I'm going to do Lubuntu first now on the right hand side here you can see download link and visit Lubuntu homepage it gives you a direct link to their page and this will allow you to download the ISO that you want to use but if you've got the ISO then all you need to do as you can see here is browse to that location mine is in this location I'm going to select uh, Lubuntu here and click open and you can see now that's gone green now this fourth option is entirely up to you uh, I'm gonna leave mine zero but if you want to set, uh, set a, a persistent file size for storing changes what that means is if you boot to uh, that device uh, and say you boot to Lubuntu and you uh, create a document and stuff inside that environment and then uh, you close it down that document will disappear it won't be saved by setting a persistent uh, file size what that's going to do um, is allow that file to be saved on there so you can move this up and down uh, to make whatever file size you want if you want to do that I've made a video on this by the way so if you want to follow that video you can do I'm going to leave this as zero and we're going to then select uh, create you will get this warning message coming up saying yummy is ready to perform the following actions uh, this is where um, you're going to be reading these and then just click yes to the uh, agreement there to perform this action and then away it goes and it will copy those files across to your USB flash drive it will call it multi boot as well now this may take some time so you have to be patient um, just um, let it do its thing and we'll come back to this when it's complete okay so that's that job all finished as you can see here the process is complete and that was pretty quick all we need to do now is go next and you can see here would you like to add more ISOs and distros click yes because we want to add more if you don't then and you're happy with just having one then you can just select no but we're going to be clicking yes here and now we need to do the same thing again we're just going to select our second uh, ISO but you make sure you've got Y installed here we don't want to format that drive we want to leave it as it is and next we're going to select our second distro here so we've got uh, Linux Mint 
going to browse for that location. If you haven't, you can download it. And you can see Linux Mint is here. Click open and uh, you can see Cinnamon 64 bit and we're going to create this. That's going to start copying it across to the pen for us, as you can see here. And that's nearly copied across, as you can see here. It's just extracting that. And that's now all finished. We can go next. And again, would you like to add more ISOs and distros? We're going to say yes. Again, we're going to go to the uh, same USB flash drive and select our next distro or distribution. I'm going to go for Manjaro next. And we're going to select here, browse. Select Manjaro, open, then create. So that's that now completed as you can see and we have one more that we want to do. We're going to say yes and we want to make sure that we come down to the drop down menu and select our final uh, distro here. You can select which ones you want to install. As I said, these are just the selection that I've chose. We're going to have Peppermint here, as you can see, and we're going to select Browse. Select Peppermint. And then Create. And that's now finishing that off. And we can now go Next. And now we don't want to add any more in. We're going to say No and then finish. Now if we check our pen drive as you can see here we've got all the multi-boot folder in there as you can see. You've got Linux Mint, Lubuntu, Manjaro, Peppermint all installed ready to go and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see this is our USB flash drive and I've booted up to this just to show you and uh, if you look here you can see continue to boot from the first hard drive which is your default drive which will either be Windows or Linux and then you can boot to your distros here as you can see just push enter key and it will give you a list of all your distros here as you can see here Lubuntu, Linux Mint, Manjaro and also Peppermint and you can just push one of these and then start to uh, use this as you can see here. So that's basically how you can create your own multi-boot USB Linux distro installer. You can put whatever distros you want on yours but that's how you can basically do it. Pretty straightforward and easy to do and you can select them and install which one you want or just boot up to that live environment uh, there. I couldn't boot to the live environment there because I was just showing you uh, at my desktop uh, but basically that's how you can do it. It's pretty straightforward. Anyway, hope this one helps you out guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to get updated and notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to our forums or you can head over to my Facebook fan page and join up over there as well. It doesn't cost you anything. Just give us a little like up over there. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.